So in fusion, you work to get your fuel very hot, very, very high temperatures, 100 million degree temperatures. And temperature really is kinetic energy. It's motion, it's velocity. So that these particles are moving so fast that even though they're coming together and there's this repulsive electromagnetic force, they can still come close enough that another force comes into play, which is the strong force. Um, and then once you get within a very close distance, on the order of the scale of those nuclei themselves, of those atomic nuclei, so the tiniest thing you could imagine, and probably way smaller than that, these particles then are attracted to each other, and they combine, and they fuse together. At that point, you create heavier atomic nuclei that have a slightly less mass, slightly less total mass in the system. And that mass equals mc squared as energy. So extremely high temperature, extremely high speed. Uh, maybe that's one of the other differences also with fusion and fission is just the amount of temperature required for the reactions. Is that accurate to say? Yeah, and I think fundamentally it's that in a lot of ways fusion is hard and fission is easy. 